Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to get IR working with the ESP32. So there's the ESP32, um, it's the uh, it's called Do It, the Do It version. Um, oh actually this hasn't got a label on, but it is the Do It version anyway. Um, so there's the ESP32 and then there's this very cheap IR kit thing. So there's a remote control and there's a, a sensor. So, assuming you have those two, let's get started. So, the first thing I'm going to need to do is to, of course, um, push the ESP32 in. Then I'm going to push the IR sensor in. But just before I do, oops, just before I do, you can see here um, where the pins are, you can see there's a, a minus and there's an S this side. The minus means ground and S means signal. So if this one is ground and this one is signal, then the middle one has to be the uh, plus. So I don't actually know if this is 5 volts or whether it's 3.3 volts, but I'm going to give 3.3 volts a go and I'll see what happens. So I'll push this in. So uh, minus, plus and signal. Minus, plus, signal. So start with the minus. So ground to minus. Then let's go for 3.3 volts to plus and then let's go from D13 to signal and uh, let's see if this works right the first thing you'll need to do is to download the library so the library I'm using is this one here https colon slash slash github.com slash z3t0 slash arduino hyphen ir remote so when you go over here and see this library um, click on clone or download over here and then go to download zip and then um, when it's downloaded something like this will come up so click in here and then go to copy and then close that down then go to arduino and then go to sketch and include library then add zip library then paste the link oh what's going on here my right click's not working but paste the link in there i've just used control and v then press open and then what will happen is it will go away and it will install the library in my case it says a library named blah 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 already exists and that makes sense because i've already done this before but for you it should install properly Anyway, then go to File and then go to Examples and then go down here and you should be able to find uh, the library, although I can't find it in a minute. Where is it? IR Remote, there it is. So IR Remote, then go to IR Recv Demo. Click there and now let's see what we've got. So we need to change pin 11 that's going to be pin 13 because we use pin 13 on the sp32 of course then uh, there's this as well we'll change this to 115200 because that's what i'm used to then plug the esp32 in and then control and new upload so um we'll give this a few minutes to upload well i'll say a few minutes we'll give it a minute to upload and um what should happen is that when we get the remote um, we may have to keep quite close to it because it's only infrared and the range is not very strong with that technology but when we press a key it should um, give us a code on the screen and then after it's given, given us the code they'll usually repeat with FFFFFF -F 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 -F, um, which is of course 255 255 255 uh, which means maximum uh, number of the transmission so yeah just to repeat that uh, when we press a key it will tell us the key and then it should repeat FFF and what it means is that it kind of lets us know that the key is being held down right okay so I believe it's uploaded now so I'll just get the serial console up Okay, and it says enabled IR in. 
so I'll just reach over now and get my uh, device let's bring this closer now I'll aim this towards the sensor and let's press the OK button and there we go so it says FF02 FD and then there's like I said FFFFFF so if I press that and hold it again it will repeat excellent and it'll keep printing FFFF until I let go right now if I do a different key so if I hold the star it'll do the same thing I'll give the code for the star and then repeat FFFF yep and again yep so far so good next key and that's basically how it works so in your code you'd probably want to ignore the FFFFF and just take note of the actual codes so if you're trying to turn something on you'd look for that code can you read that code no can I read the code no can I read the code yes then you'd make your change and you basically ignore everything else uh, until you find the code for switching off or whatever but anyway um, I just thought I'd quickly show you this and there you go so that's how to wire up the IR sensor to the ESP32 and that's how to install the library and find a library that, that works and um, that's very quickly how to do it so hopefully you found this video useful and thank you for watching bye